Hello crafty friends! Today I'm going to be showing you how to use metallic flakes with some gilding glue. Um, just in general how to use these in the process. I'm going to grab some of my paper here. I have this really pretty alcohol ink design type paper and it has these gold shimmery parts on there but it's just part of the paper. So I wanted to take my, my metallic flakes and allow it to shine. So what's great about my paper is you just fold it in half and it makes a nice A2 card base. So I have this front here and the back or either side the pink and the blue you can choose so i'm just grabbing my gilding glue gilding glue is just a special type of glue i'm just testing it here in some scrap paper it's slower drying so what you do is you put your glue down and then you put it in all the spots i'm putting it on all the goldy type spots that are already on the paper but i'm also going to add some of my own spots here where there's a little bit more blank space so i'm just going through on the lines of the uh, designed alcohol ink and also the goldish parts so there it is it just looks like regular glue um, what's special about it is that it's slow drying and so here I wanted to show you these are fine metallic flakes and then these are the regular metallic so they're big and this is the copper which is probably what I'm going to be using because I feel like it matches our paper really well so here's the difference you can see how thin the fine ones are compared to the bigger ones so while I'm waiting for the glue to dry I'm just going to stamp my sentiment um, I'm using my new birthday st sentiment stamp set and I love these stamps because they can be used not just for birthdays but anniversaries or just thinking of you type cards so this one says can't wait to spend another year together and then I just used my sentiment dies to cut that out so for gilding glue what you want to do is wait for it to dry so you can see it's starting to be clear and then it gets really really sticky so while it's drying um, is when you know you wait for it to get to that point and then you're gonna add on your gold flakes um, and then you're gonna let your gold flakes your sorry metallic flakes just sit there for a little bit so the glue is really sticky right now you want to get the flakes on and I'm kind of crumbling up the flakes I like to rip them up a bit I do like the fine flakes but here you'll see they're all on the glue they're stuck to the glue but we're gonna let that glue sit and dry with the flakes on it for a little bit longer so the gilding glue you just um, put it on and then you wait for it to dry a little bit and then you put on your flakes and then you watch the magic happen so here's my sentiment. I think I'm going to put it in the center of my card, but I'm not even done yet with the flakes yet. I just figured I'd work on my sentiment while I'm waiting for that glue to dry completely. I'm just using some Tranquil and It's a Girl to add a little bit of color that kind of I felt like matched um, my card base here. And I also used Sugared Lavender for my stamp. So how cute is that? It looks super cute. Um, looks very... Um, breezy so now I'm grabbing a paintbrush that's the other thing you need when you're using gold flakes and I'm painting I'm basically just using a dry paintbrush here to get off all the excess flakes so look at how thin this line turns out to be isn't that cool so it's literally just the glue line but it adds this really pretty texture and um, obviously that beautiful shine and color so just going through with my paintbrush and um, just making sure you'll know if it's not dry enough yet because it'll spread um, but I like to wait once the flakes are on for about five minutes or so and then there we go look at that so doesn't that make that paper just pop I really love that I loved this paper design but I felt like you know let's make it shine even more let's bring it to life so here I think I'm gonna put my sentiment right there I like that that one line looks like it's never ending and then I'm actually going to add two cherry dots on each one here. So this just adds a little bit more height. The cherry dots are nice and thin, which I love, but I wanted a little bit more dimension. So that looks cool. So you can see the difference now between the front and back of the card. <laughs> and I have some of this mica spray here from Tim Holtz that's also a copper type. And so I sprayed it on my card, and again, that adds even more shimmer, looking, making it look like it's actual alcohol ink so cool so now i'm going to cut out two of these a2 liners with my card sentiment dies one to put at the top and one to put at the bottom the one at the top i want to decorate a little bit so i'm going to do the same process where i'm going to stamp i'm going to stamp another sentiment here and this one from my birthday sentiment stamp says celebrate good times so this could be used as a birthday card but it could also be used as something like an anniversary card or just thinking of you type card or just i love you stuff like that um i tried to make my stamps as versatile as possible so here i'm just ink blending some of the tranquil and the pink again the it's a girl and i stamped my sentiment and sugared lavender and now i'm spraying it with that mica spray and patting it with the um paper towel so that looks super cute i love that um 
And then I'm going to put the liner on the inside of my card on the bottom half. And this is just for where you can write your sentiments. So that looks good there. And then I'm going to also put this one on the inside top. But first I do want to add a little bit more shine. So I'm going to add some gilding glue. And what I did here was I spread it on. So here you just put a layer on there and I'm spreading it with my finger. And then I'm grabbing the flakes right away and and smudging it almost. So it looks like this rubbed on almost metal type um, effect. I really love doing it this way. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's a little bit messy, this technique and these flakes are, they kind of, it's kind of like glitter. It gets all over the place, but it's a lot of fun. It adds that shine. So, so you can see it all over my cherry tape. <laughs> So now putting this on the inside upper half of my card I really like because I did spray the front of my card with that mica and it just does add a little bit more sturdiness to my card. So here's my card and there are those beautiful thick lines of the copper metallic flakes and then the celebrate good times with the shiny kind of grungy look. It's nice and sturdy and I got those liners in there from my dye sentiments and that's it. That's how you use metallic flakes and gilding glue. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye guys, thanks for watching.